Hello, uh, good morning uh, everyone. Uh, myself, Dr. Mohammed Lutman. I'm from uh, Mahashima Tandeshwar Institute, uh, Mulana, Ambala. Uh, today, I'll be presenting a paper on uh, topic gastrointestinal uh, lymphoma. Uh, the co-author of this uh, paper presentation is Dr. Uh, Anjun Maji. Uh, main, uh, will, I will focus uh, on uh, the common imaging findings uh, on CT in gastrointestinal uh, lymphoma. Production. Gastrointestinal lymphomas uh, account for 5 to 20 percent of extranodal uh, lymphomas. The stomach uh, is the most common site, uh, followed by small intestine, jejunum, and duodenum, and then colorectal uh, lymphomas. Uh, and they mainly occur in the sixth decade. In children, they are rare, but most common uh, GI malignancies uh, if they occur in children. Etiology, uh, they may be congenital or uh, acquired may occur due to some acquired deficiencies. Uh, uh, the main etiologic factors uh, for the for gastrointestinal lymphomas uh, are uh, different viruses like uh, Helicobacter pylori, human immunodeficiency virus. Then uh, we have Campylobacter jejuni, Epstein-Barr virus, Hepatitis uh, B, uh, human T cell lymphotropic virus 1, and some inflammatory conditions like uh, celiac disease, IBDs like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. Then we have atrophic gastritis and uh, parasitic uh, infection. Clinical findings uh, are usually not specific, and this causes a delay in the diagnosis. Uh, the mainly the patient present late stage of uh, the disease. Uh, therefore, uh, it is uh, challenging uh, for management of uh, gastrointestinal lymphoma also. Uh, the main symptoms uh, the patient present are weight loss, anorexia, vomiting. Other bowel symptoms uh, like obstruction and bowel perforation are uh, rare and may occur uh, in some cases in advanced events. Uh, then my aim of this paper uh, presentation is to evaluate common imaging findings uh, in cases of gastrointestinal lymphoma on CT. Uh, for the same purpose, uh, I have taken two cases were reported uh, in uh, my institute. Uh, one was of uh, gastrointestinal lymphoma, one was of gastric uh, lymphoma, and other was uh, lymphoma of uh, the some part of the intestine, which we will discuss in further slides. Uh, the case one. First case was of a uh, 65 year old male uh, who came with complaints of heaviness after meals, epigastric pain, and weight loss, which were present from nine months. Second case was of a 68 year old uh, female who complains uh, of left hypochondrial pain and weight loss, which were present from uh, 10 months. Uh, this is uh, the case one. Uh, we can see the marked. Uh, uh, circumferential uh, thickening of uh, and lobulated mass like thickening of the distal ileum. This is uh, all the distal ileum, but we can still see the lumen. Uh, we can see the contrast passing through. So no intestinal obstruction has occurred even after the, this advanced stage. And the, we can also see the nodal deposit one here and uh, this also. Uh, so nodal deposits uh, are also common in uh, gastrointestinal lymphomas. The deposits uh, in just uh, are not this much large and uh, they are currently less common in compared to uh, gastrointestinal lymphomas. Then we have uh, the second case. Uh, this is uh, the gastrointestinal gastric lymphoma, which in, is involving both the anterior as well as posterior wall. Marked circumferential thickening uh, we can see, but uh, lumen we can uh, still see the contrast passing uh, through the lumen. So again, uh, obstruction is a rare feature in gastrointestinal lymphomas. It is not that common. Uh, we can also see the loss of uh, fat planes due to the extensive spread of uh, the gastrointestinal lymphoma, uh, which uh, also indicates that it is uh, advanced. Uh, then uh, the results uh, of uh, gastrointestinal uh, lymphomas due to very less uh, clinical symptoms, uh, imaging uh, plays a vital role in diagnosis of gastrointestinal lymphomas. Mainly, the patient will present with anorexia or some vomiting or uh, hypochondrial pain or epigastric pain. Uh, then uh, the gastrointestinal lymphomas are mainly presented with marked uh, mass-like circumferential thickening, which is observed in most of the cases of uh, gastrointestinal lymphomas. And uh, one important feature of gastrointestinal lymphoma is enhancement pattern. They do not show uh, marked uh, 
for extensive enhancement. As we can see uh, in the previous uh, two slides, uh, the enhancement is not that uh, great. Uh, then due to later stage of uh, the diagnosis, multiple large uh, nodal deposits are also encountered. So one differentiating feature of gastrointestinal lymphomas from GIST is uh, the nodal deposit and the second is uh, the extensive spread uh, involving uh, loss of free fat planes with uh, the neighboring structures. Then uh, these are uh, the references uh, for my uh, paper presentation. Uh, thank you. Uh, have a nice day.